Good morning, grandkids. Mr. Dragonfly is glad to have us as his friends. We feel the same way, Mr. Dragonfly. I wish he hadn't talked so soon. I wanted to tell you that we have a guest with us today. And it's an ego. Um, he is with us because I went and found him because I needed a bodyguard. We should rest while we can. We have to keep our strength up. Yes, we do. And uh, I really am a... Oh, are you going to wander around? Okay. I, oh, maybe he's going to fix us some lunch. Good boy. Um, I wanted to say that I felt like I needed to have him around so that if I run into those thugs that are trying to kill me, he can take care of them because I'm not at a very high level and uh, I'm kind of afraid to encounter them. And also, when I go out, especially into caves or dungeons or somewhere, especially to look for any books laying around, he can help me take care of the critters in there, okay? So right now, while he's uh, cooking us up some food, let's get into a story. It's just going to be a short one today. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. While we read, we could watch him, I guess. He's still cooking our dinner. That's pretty cool. Okay. Today... I thought I picked up the book. Well, phooey. Oh, I put it back in the bookshelf instead of taking it. What are you fixing us, Inigo? It smells good. It looks good. I made sure he had Mr. Dragonfly with him, too. All right, let's stand here and watch him cook, and I'll read you this book. It's a short one. Alduin is real, and we all know that he's real. But this, Alduin is real, and he Ain't Akatosh by Thromgar Ironhead, Proud Nord. Now, kind of pay attention to the spelling in this book because I have a feeling this isn't a very well-educated person that's writing this, so I will attempt to read it as he wrote it. As, I don't know if that's da or de, I'll say dad. As my dad used to say, Imperials are idiots. And look at the way he spells idiots. That is why I am writing this book. I ain't never wrote a book before, and I do not reckon to write one again. But sometimes a man must do what a man must do. And what I must do is set the record straight of oh, his book. Spelling is so bad. Set the record straight about the god called Akatosh and the dragon called Alduin. They ain't the same thing, no matter what them Imperials might say or how they might wish it be so. My dad was never one for the gods, but my ma was. She worshipped all the divines and taught me lots of things. So I know a thing or two about Akatosh. Just as much as any Imperial, I know he was the first of all the gods to take shape in the beginning place, and I know he was the shape of a dragon. Now, 
My dad even told me the story of Martin Septim and the things what happened when the gates to oblivion opened. Septim turned into the spirit of Akhtosh and killed Mehrunes Dagon. Now, I don't know about you, but any dragon that fights the Prince of Destruction is okay by me. Now, I hope you understand the problem. Akatosh is good. Everyone from Nord to Imperial knows that, but Alduin, he ain't good. He's the opposite of good. That Alduin is evil through and through. So you see, Akatosh and Alduin can't be one and the same. Growing up as a lad in Skyrim, I heard all the stories told to me by my dad, who was told by his dad, who was told by his dad, and so on. And one of these stories was about Alduin. But see, he was not Akatosh. He was another dragon and a real one at that. Akatosh is some kind of spirit dragon, I think, when he bothers to be a dragon at all, and not a god living in some kind of god place like Oblivion. But Alduin is a real dragon with flesh and teeth and a mean streak, longer than the White River. And there was a time when Alduin tried to rule over all of Skyrim with his other dragons. In the end, it took some mighty strong heroes to finally kill Alduin and be done with his whole sorry story. So I got to ask, does that sound like Akatosh to you? No, friend, no it do not. And so I, Thermgar Ironhead, I love his name, Ironhead. He, he can't get no learning in it, because he's an iron head. I do firmly say, with the utmost conviction, that Alduin is real, and he ain't Akatosh. So there, too. <laughs> okay. So that's the end of that book. That was just a little short one. All right, Inigo, have you got any soup ready for us? What is on your mind? Well, do you have any thoughts? No, my mind is as empty as a beggar's purse. Oh great, you took a fine time to have an empty mind. I wanted you to talk to the grandkids. Everything okay? Mind if I ask you something? You have my full attention. Tell me more about your past. My brother and I never knew our real parents. Aww. We were found abandoned in a smelly shack by a soldier Ew. on his way to battle. We melted his heart with our fuzzy little faces, Aww. and he carried us to the I'll nearest bet town. You did. He deposited us at an orphanage, and that is where we spent most of our childhood. Was it a happy one? My brother and I were adopted by a couple of retired assassins. <gasps> I guess the orphanage did not do a family background check. <laughs> I guess not. You must have had a very interesting childhood. Well, we will talk more, Anigo. You know where I am. Do not forget about me, please. Oh, I won't. You're living here in my home, and I'm going to make up that room down in the basement for him to live in so that you can stay with me all the time, Inigo, because I never know when I might need your help and protection. So, okay, grandkids, he's gonna f fix us some soup. He'll serve it to us in a little bit. We got all kinds of goodies over there in the shelves and on the table. So we shall have some lunch. So I hope after lunch, when you leave, that you will come back and see me again for another story time. So goodbye, grandkids. And I will see you next time.